Wow, that looks like Buddy to me. Oh my God, the streeper train is here. The magic carpet, look at these dogs. Look at that speed. That is conditioning, conformity of bones, breeding, training, confidence, nutrition. Look at that. Charging, charging. Happy dogs. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Buddy is going for his 10th championship right now. Oh, yeah, you got it, buddy. And here he comes, bit number two, Greg Taylor, looking to hold his spot. Looking to hold it together. Keep working it, Greg. Stay with it, Greg. Keep working it, Greg. You got this. The Taylor family gives 100%. There they are. How exciting. Wow. Greg Taylor looking to stay on the podium today. Kicking away. Dogs look like they're in a good rhythm. They look like they're moving real well. He has a seven-year-old leader on the right, looker's right. He said that whole litter, all seven puppies in that litter were awesome. Look at that, a seven-year-old dog just leading the charge there, brown dog. Good-looking dog team. Gary's going to be pleased with this footage. There he is, focused. Yeah, Gary. Yeah, Gary. Great job. And there they are, up and over. Not to be confused with the other green coat from Fort Nelson, but this looks like... This looks like Michael Tetzner. He's hoping to stay on the podium. He's in third position going into today, but he was tied with Greg Taylor. So, I mean, no room for error. It's just, wow. And here comes another dog team around the corner. So we'll focus on Michael. Yeah, Michael, a lot of heart there. He wants us badly. He works super hard, flies his whole team from Germany every year. Two more teams. So here we go, Greg Taylor and Buddy are on the trail.